Alright, so hello, welcome back to Sir Nikolai Kateri and this is uh, episode 71 and for today we're going to be discussing something very helpful because um, I'm going to tell you a story about something that happened to me recently and so our episode today is going to be about cat bite and scratches, what to do when kitty hurts you accidentally. So as you all know sometimes, uh, you know, because we play with our cats or like sometimes uh, we actually um, you know, um, interact with our cats and for some, uh, you know, for some reason, maybe your cats uh, would accidentally bite you or scratch you and um, I would want actually to share my experience about uh, why my cat bit me and uh, what I did after that. So I'll show you a few tips as to what to do exactly when this happens. Okay, so for today, we're going to learn something. So uh, when it comes to today's uh, topic, so this is going to be a short uh, live stream, I hope, because for the longest time, I've been actually doing live streams and I'm always disappointed with myself because the live streams go on for a very long time. So my goal for today is actually to finish in less than 30 minutes. So hopefully I'll be able to have, you know, uh, just um, short uh, live stream for today because uh, it's just too much sometimes you know the videos that i upload are really just so long so anyway our content for today uh is as follows so we're going to be looking at uh the short lecture which is a uh, cat bite and scratches so what to do uh, uh you know when kitties hurt you accidentally um and then uh, i'm going to be showing you some kittens that i have on sernicolaicattery.com and this is actually for uh you know for quarter three release so that means uh sometime next month some of these kittens are already ready for you know for adoption so just in case you want to get scottish or british kittens i'll show you what i have and finally of course uh, we're going to be doing the july contest and we're looking at some entries that are actually pictures and posts about kittens that are playing or cats that are playing so we're going to be looking at those as well Okay, so on to today's uh, topic. So let me just share with you a very quick story what happened exactly and why are we having this uh, kind of uh, you know, a topic for, uh, you know, for live stream today. So actually, my cat bit me um, last month. And it's going to be a bit of a story you know, uh, to tell you what exactly happened. So uh, for me to be able to tell the story, I have to start actually by talking about I have two cats that are male. So uh, the first cat that is male is what you see in the slide. So that's Coco. And then the other cat that I have is Cheng Cheng, who's also a male. So Coco is a British short hair and then Cheng Cheng is a British long hair. Now, um, I have two males and then I have uh, six female cats. And the purpose of uh, having two male cats is actually for, for breeding purposes. Okay. Now, if you think about it when it comes to you know, breeding uh, cats and then male and female thing. One thing that you will learn actually from experience, I don't know, when you breed uh, cats is that it's very difficult to have two male cats together. Because when you have two male cats together, what will happen is that they will, you know, um, they will impose their alpha male status. And so it's very difficult actually to manage that. So for the longest time, one of my male cats uh, actually staying uh, ha has been staying with my mom and my mom lives in the province so she's in Pampanga and so what I do is that I usually bring female cats to my mom so the cat you see on the screen is uh, actually Coco so Coco is with me while the other cat Cheng Cheng is with my mom in Pampanga okay so here's where the conflict uh, happened um, so a few months ago my mom decided to visit the US and what happened was that I had to take care of Cheng Cheng. So the other male cat uh, would return. And that actually, you know, had a lot of problem because uh, my two male cats are together. And when my two male cats are together, they would wrestle and they would actually want to kill each other. And it's, uh, it's very tricky because this is my cat room and, you know, one cat has to be in the cat room all the time. And then the other cat has to be outside the cat room. And so what happened was that um, it's very tricky 
because in one of their fights, and this is what happened June 28th, so um, Coco and Cheng Cheng fought against each other. And I tried to stop them. And when I tried to stop them, you know, because they were in the, in the you know, uh, they were killing each other. <laughs> Basically, they were wrestling, you know, for their alpha male status. So what happened was that Coco accidentally bit me. So, and uh, the biting actually was very painful. And let me show you a picture of uh, actually what uh, my finger looked like. So, that ha that's what happened to my finger. So, basically, it pierced, um, you know, the, the fangs of Coco pierced through my fingernails. And then, uh, after one week, it still looks really horrible. I'm actually going to show you that even up to now, my finger is still actually not as uh, fully healed. So, um, I thought about, you know, telling you the story of what I did exactly, um, you know, so that, uh, you know, this uh, biting uh, incident would not happen and what I did after getting bitten. Okay, so that's the reason why we're having this live stream topic. Okay, so uh, on to the lecture. So, what's the point right now of, uh, you know, what's so dangerous about uh, cat bites and scratches? So in essence, what's so very dangerous um, if you got bitten by a cat is actually the bacteria. So the bacteria that could transfer from the biting of the cat to your hand or to your body part. And that is something that is going to be very tricky because uh, that, will, uh, that might you know, enter your bloodstream. And it could uh, cause some serious uh, damage actually to, uh, you know, to your uh, mobility and uh, to how you stand and so it, it is very you know dangerous actually when that happens so viral infection may infect your nervous system also um, in some worst case scenario okay so therefore um, some people when they you know when they get bitten by cats or when they get really nasty scratches from cats one of the usual uh, questions uh, asked of me is that um, will cats actually uh, you know uh, give me rabies or something like that uh, give me rabies infection and from my research about rabies and cats cats generally speaking do not have rabies okay and that's something that you have to actually understand and like with dogs uh, I think uh, more dogs probably have rabies uh, than cats cats only get rabies when they get uh, bitten by other animals like rodents vermin etc but generally speaking, if your cat has been uh, vaccinated, so there is no, um, you know, they usually don't have rabies, okay? So that's why rabies was out of the question when I was bitten uh, by my cat because my cat Coco was actually vaccinated um, and at the same time, um, it's pretty clean for an animal. So therefore, um, the most important uh, thing that you have to do if you get bitten by a cat or scratched by a cat is to make sure that you wash you know the you wash the part that was bitten or that was scratched that is very important so you have to go immediately to running water so open the faucet then make sure that there's running water use soap and then make sure that uh, you know you heal yourself uh, you wash yourself very carefully um, and then after that you know once you have washed yourself and uh, make sure that uh, every uh, that the wound is very clean already so free from dirt or whatever that's when you can start applying uh, some uh, medicines. Um, you know, you can also put alcohol, uh, you know, just uh, so that you won't get uh, infected by bacteria, etc. Um, I actually have a very, uh, <laughs> very bizarre thing that I did, you know, when I got bitten by Coco. I use this uh, product. Uh, it's called Iozin. Iozin is actually a wound spray for cats. So actually, when I bought this uh, thing, I bought it for my cats because I thought that, you know, um, it might happen that they might bite each other and then I have to spray some wound spray so this is actually what I uh, what I got so what happens is that uh, I used it on myself and I thought you know well I'm, I'm a cat person <laughs> no kidding but uh, it's just that uh, it could disinfect actually wounds anyway so I felt like yeah so this uh, uh, this uh, product by Papi it's Iozin uh, it's a wound spray antibacterial antifungal uh, anti viral etc so i felt that it was safe enough so i used it on myself so i used it my, on myself and then i sprayed it did not sting actually the alcohol was uh you know even the one the thing that's uh that's more hurtful after that i got a bandage and then uh, you know uh band-aid and that's how i actually did um 
But I have to be honest, um, it was very painful. <laughs> um, for about a week, I could not actually function really well with my hands. So I could not play video games. I could not type really well, you know, around that time. So, you know, my index finger was pretty much uh, uh, in pain. And right now, it's almost a month since I got bitten. Um, it's not really painful, but there's really just something that is not quite right about it it's like um, i feel that there's a sensation uh, with my finger that was bitten so there i don't think that it will develop into something bad it's just still continuously healing right now and uh, i'm actually happy with what i did because when i told my mom about uh, you know coco biting me my mom's initial reaction was she panicked she told me oh go to the hospital you know and then i was like yeah no <laughs> i know i i know that i should not panic actually when uh, you know i get that kind of food. okay so there um what else actually cat biting you also depends on what cat actually hurt you so if uh, you own the cat and you are 100 percent sure that the cat is uh, was vaccinated before and you're 100 percent sure that your cat is just an indoor cat there's actually very less chance of a bacterial or viral infection so that's the nice thing about um, you know having indoor cats in general. They're generally clean. But I would not say the same thing for outdoor cats. I would not say the same thing for cats that are not yours. So if ever you've been bitten by a cat uh, that was not yours and you're not sure about the vaccination of that cat, you have to try to clean your wound and then go to a doctor. Okay, so I still strongly suggest that. Okay, what else? Um, what are the most uh, sensitive uh, body parts that can be bitten or scratched by cats? So actually, so your hands, uh, you know, could be the most, uh, um, yeah, uh, could be the most, uh, what's that, uh, sensitive for it. And then any body part with joints or tendons uh, would be very difficult. Genital area also very difficult. Uh, you know, you have to go to a doctor and then if you have any uh, implants or prosthetics also very dangerous for cat bites and scratches okay okay what else so how do you avoid getting uh, bitten by a cat or uh, how do you avoid getting uh, scratched by a cat so some of the things that i mentioned here I actually mentioned in the previous live stream so um to those of you who watched uh, previous month's uh, live stream i made uh, a very important point about not pranking your cats and that is because when you prank your cats and they get surprised, they might bite you accidentally. So please don't do that. Do not frighten or surprise your cats. Do not accidentally hurt your cats. Do not cause stress with your cats. And this is something that I often actually, you know, um, I'm very careful with because in my condo, there are just so many cats that sometimes uh, when I walk, I have to be careful because I might accidentally step on a very small kitten or my accidentally step on uh, the tail of one cat and i'm always very careful okay so please uh, be careful not to hurt your cat because your cat you know um even if your cat loves you they might accidentally hurt you okay and do not cause stress also for your cat so when your cats are stressed they might actually have uh, you know unavoidable uh, kind of accident when they would uh, you know hurt you Alright, so I hope all of those things that uh, I discussed for today are actually very helpful. So in essence, uh, if I'm going to summarize everything that I discussed, it's as simple as this. If you get bitten by your cats and it's an indoor cat with uh, vaccinations and everything, and if it's not really an open wound, I don't think you have to be very, you know, you don't have to worry too much. If there's an open wound, go wash the open wound with... Uh, running water and soap, use disinfectant, use alcohol, etc. Then just uh, try to make sure that you're okay. If you start getting symptoms like you're getting sick or you're getting, you know, um, immobile or, you know, uh, you're getting numb, then you have to go to a doctor. All right? So it's as simple as that, I think. Okay? Okay, so that's actually the first part of our live stream today. So that very short lecture. And so right now, I'm just going to share with you. So second part is we're going to be looking at some available kittens on sirnicolaicattery.com. So as you all know, I breed cats. And if you want to actually get kittens that have, a, you know, that have a pedigree certificate. So my kittens actually have a TICA pedigree certificate. So there's a adoption certificate that you can get. 
uh, I released them with uh, you know uh, fully vaccinated and then deworm I litter trained them and they're very sociable and sweet and then I also give a free pet crate and then also sample food okay so just in case you would want to get a kitten from me so anyway so let's look at the kittens that I have so I actually have uh, how many uh, I think four <laughs> four uh, <coughs> slightly bigger kittens and then I will show you some uh, surprise in a short while Okay, so first let me show you Plusil. So Plusil is actually a Scottish straight uh, cat with long hair. So she's female, silver shaded. She'll be ready actually in about three weeks. So if you want to get her, so she's very beautiful. Um, you know, when, <laughs> when I took a picture of her this morning, I, I'm so sorry. Uh, there was a bit of a morning glory in her eyes, but she's actually very pretty if you see her uh, in person. Then this is Kiladin. Kiladin is actually British long hair. So she's female, um, you know, uh, three months old, also to be released in two weeks. So I think uh, she's very special if you want long hair cats, uh, British long hair. So uh, Kiladin is, might be for you. Okay, and then I have two Scottish folds to show you. This is Raichu. This is actually a very cute kitten. Like I love actually this kitten because uh, she's uh, so sweet. And uh, I love actually the, you know, the the what's that it's the uh, the the black marking on her forehead it's very uh, cute very sweet kitten um she will be released um late september and i think she has single fold for her ears okay if you go to my website uh, you can actually see more pictures of uh, raichu okay and another one that's also very very cute is rowlet so this one is called double fold so the rowlet is double fold meaning the, the ears are slightly more bent, okay? Which makes her actually a bit more expensive uh, because of, uh, of her ears and she's very pretty. So she is uh, 6.5 weeks old. She's bound to get her vaccination, um, I think in two weeks also. And uh, also for late September release. So just in case you're interested to get Scottish full female, I have. So Rowlet is uh, for you, okay? So my special announcement for today are to show you my British, uh, new British kittens. And uh, one of them is actually coming from Yuki's uh, litter. So uh, Yuki is a British long hair and she's golden uh, shaded. And you might want to get uh, a gold uh, or a black bronze uh, male British long hair. So let me show you one of them. So this is one of them. I haven't given a Pokemon name just yet. But uh, this uh, male kitty is actually golden shaded. So for late October release, you might want to get him. Or this other cutie. So this, uh, this one's more of a black bronze uh, British long hair. So uh, also uh, to be released late October. Okay, so if you want to get the British long hair, there are two male kittens that you might want to get. And Fen Fen actually just uh, gave birth uh, last week. And uh, it was a very difficult birth because it started from morning it ended at midnight and i was so tired uh, but you know if you look at her kittens her kittens are so fat so chunky so these are actually big bone british short hair female so they're uh, of uh, two colors so silver shaded and slightly diluted the uh, gold shaded so just look they're so pretty so if you want to get uh, british short hair so fen fens uh very chunky fat uh, british short hair female cats uh, you know might be for you okay and these are only nine days old so look at these so i took this picture this uh morning so you might want to uh if you want british short hair female so fen fens uh, kittens might be for you all right so if you want to uh, reserve a kitten uh, from me just uh you know message me at sir nikolai Cattery fb page uh, or um, you know, or my personal page, uh, James Nikolai FB page. Uh, you can message me also on Twitter, on Instagram, or, uh, and then go directly to my website. You can already just uh, reserve immediately. Um, the price is actually on the website. If you want to see the price, it's there. So it's posted there. And if you if you want to um, you know consult with me further, you can email me at sirnikolai at gmail .com. Now, some of you who have been watching uh, my live streams in the past few months, I told you that I give discounts for my YouTube subscribers. So, if you're a YouTube uh, subscriber, you can have an additional 5,000 peso discount you know, for the base price of kittens. So, as long as you go for option A. 
Alright, so that's it. So you have exclusive discounts, uh, you know, uh, for my kittens, and they really help. I think make the kittens uh, somehow more affordable. Alright, so that's the second part of our live stream today. And so far, I've been recording for around twenty minutes. Yes, I think I can meet my my goal today to finish uh, in thirty minutes. Uh, that's amazing. Okay, so uh, we go now to the contest. So. The contest that we had uh, for this month is about playing kittens and I'm so uh, happy. Uh, there are only very few uh, people who joined this month. I think uh, only 17 but what I like is that there's still pretty good pictures of uh, you know, of kittens and I'm so happy that uh, you have higher ch chances of winning uh, this uh, this month. Okay, So let's look at the kittens that uh, have joined the contest uh, this month. So this first one is uh so let me just uh, move my camera just a bit so I can see the posts better. Okay, so we have uh, the first one from Tads nineteen seventy three, and it says here playing with work uh from home cables very cute and it's so cute because uh, we know that sometimes cats really just play with cables. Okay, thank you for sharing that Tads nineteen seventy three. And then we have Bertel Nard twelve twenty two says uh, one stress ball for a not so stressed kitten. Very cute. Thank you for sharing uh, your uh, your kitten with us, Bertel Nard. Okay. Next ones. Next one is from Wena Capistrano. Show you while seriously trying to catch the last ball. I love uh, this uh, toy. This toy is uh, called the Tower of Tracks. One of my favorite toys actually for cats. So. This is actually highly recommended. If you need to get just one toy for your cat, this is probably one of the be best toys to get for cats. Thank you, Wena, for sharing. Okay, next one is from Puspin5. This is Shio. Oh, cool. Show you and then Shio. Shio uh, playing with one of their favorite toys. So now <laughs> I'm so hungry because of that just reminded me of ramen. So Shio playing with one of their favorite toys, a meter stick. No need for expensive toys with these kitties. Okay, correct? Sometimes you don't need expensive toys to just have fun with your kittens. Okay, next one is from We The Kitties, who won last month. Okay, um, unlike the typical cat who's afraid of water, we found out that our fur baby, Whiskey, it seems is the complete opposite. Oh, so a cat is not afraid of water. That's special. So we started noticing this in Whiskey uh, when, as a very small kitten, he would often play with their drinking fountain by dipping his paws into the flowing water. Nagkakaw kaw. <laughs> uh, he also, what's nagkakaw kaw? Parang, uh, you know, trying to to do this, I think. Okay, he also enjoys watching water drain from our washing machine and fascinated with water dripping from the faucet. In the frame is whiskey playing with paper boats, much like what we used to when we were younger every rainy season. So very cute. Thank you, We the Kitties, for sharing this cute picture of whiskey. Okay. Next one is uh, Dad Cat Jones M picture. So this is Peggy who's playing dressing up and her dress looks great on her. I agree. She looks uh, very pretty in that dress. So cute. Uh, Peggy is a uh, torty, torty cat. Very nice uh, uh, picture. Thank you, Dad Cat Jones M. Next one is uh, from Afro Kylie. I think uh, this is just one kitten. So um, let me read uh, what Afro Kylie uh, put here. It's been a week since we adopted our new fur baby. He's super kulit and very playful whenever he's awake. We've been very creative in making him new toys that we could find around the house to play with. Thank you, Sir Nikolai. Your videos are very helpful to us new fur parents. Thank you too for watching. And I like that you're using uh, you know, inexpensive uh, materials as toys. So thank you. Very good. Thank you for sharing uh, with us uh, your new fur baby. Okay, this one is from Little Toe Beans. Okay, this is Leia having the time of her life with her fave one toy. I love actually that uh, in a second picture because I, you know, I know how it feels, you know, when uh, cats are really having a good time and they look like that. So it's very cool. So cool pictures. Thank you, Little Toe Beans. Next one is from Justine uh, Heronimo. So uh, these are pictures of the same uh, cat. One is just playing by the electric fan cover. Very cool. 
the other one is watching uh, the aquarium very cute thank you justine for sharing these pictures next one is from pepe hands uh, playing with a bell that's moving too fast for the camera to capture it's very cute thank you for sharing that Okay, next one is Papi on the Loose. Uh, our Papi baby, Waldo, uh, loves to play his string, feet, uh, string fish. Okay, he goes gaga on this. Okay, very cute. Thank you for sharing with us, Waldo. Okay, next one is from Doi Nodora. Not sure if Pikachu is playing with ribbons or sharpening her teeth. Very cute. <laughs> Look at those eyes, you know, uh, in, in Filipino. We so making giggle with the you know with the with the ribbons. Okay, next one uh, from Marquez Pomili. So today's sporting fixture is Billy versus Bonnie in the Daily Paw Boxing Contest. Who came out as a top cat today? Very cute. I love the scarves of uh, you know of the of Billy and Bonnie. This is how play is defined for these two sisters. Oh, they're sisters. No toys needed. Just a bonded pair of kitties who loves to. Run around, enjoys wrestling, chases one another, plays fight with each other. They love each other really. Very cute. No kitties were harmed in the photos. Oh, these are very adorable. Thank you, Marquez family, for sharing Billy and Bonnie's pictures for us. Next one is from Lawrence and Janine. Um, so showing the playful side of our big baby boy Foxy. Very cute. So Foxy is playing with this fish uh stuffed toy. Foxy also snuck up on the bed for cuddles because of the inclement weather. Cats are playful and sweet. And, of course, Foxy is playing with the box. Boxes are the cheapest, most effective toys sometimes for cats. Okay. Next one is uh, from Princess Mendoza Onyo. Di pwedeng laro lang dapat na pipikon din. I, it's so hard to translate that into English. But, uh, yeah, it's all about playing. Playing and not getting... Sore? Is that the picon? I don't know how picon, how to translate picon is in English. Okay, and next one is from Lalay. Lalay, may nang ingit at may na iingit. So it's about playing in uh, you know, the plastic bags. Thank you, Lalay and Princess, for sharing uh, pictures. Okay. Our last one uh, today is from Lina Fernandez. Parang kakaiba yung bunga ng puno namin. So our tree has a very bizarre fruit. And that fruit is uh, the cat. So, play before uh, the rain. So, that's uh, the second part of the post. Alright, so those are actually just uh, the, um, the posts that we have uh, for today. Thank you all for sharing. For next month, um, what I want to see is actually a cool uh, theme. So, for August, I want you to post pictures or at, uh, do a, you know, a photo essay of cats cleaning themselves so cats when they clean themselves uh, licking themselves it's up to you how to interpret that so we'll do our uh, live stream at the end of uh, of the month so that's the uh, last sunday of uh, august august 29 and to join just a uh, just post a picture or a picture essay about the theme on facebook instagram uh, or twitter okay no need to do posts uh, everywhere just one uh, you know just uh, one uh, post uh, from your social media is actually just fine. But uh, for the hashtags, please make use of uh, hashtag Sir Nikolai Kateri if you're posting on Instagram and Twitter. But for Facebook, uh, please uh, use hashtag Sir Nikolai Kateri August for Facebook. And the reason why it's like this is because it's so hard to track um, the hashtags, uh, recent uh, hashtags on Facebook. So it's too random. I I. I, I I want you to try it. If you try uh, looking for the post on Sir Nikolai Kateri hashtag on Facebook, it's kind of whack. It's kind of weird. But it's actually easy to follow on Instagram and Twitter. Alright? So, that's it. And one last thing that you have to do is to make sure that your post is uh, for public viewing. Okay? So, if it's public viewing, I'll be able to see it. And that's it. Okay? So, that's uh, for next month. And before we go to our raffle, so let me just uh, remind you that... Uh, I actually have one prize for my pick. So my pick is uh, going to be winning the 20 piece Chao Churu. Okay. And uh, for the raffle in a short while, that winner will win the 40 pieces uh, Chao Churu. All right. So this one, this bigger bag is actually for our raffle in a short while. 
but let's pick now um i, I will show you my my uh my uh personal pick for the best pose for july so for me the best pose for playing kitty is little toe beans congratulations little toe beans uh, i'm going to message you on instagram how to claim your uh, your price of 20 pieces of chow churu all right so little toe beans you're still eligible actually for the raffle so who knows you might actually win the 40 piece chow churu also okay to those of you who did not win um you're all part of the raffle uh, as long as you submitted an entry so hopefully uh you, you guys uh, will uh, wait for that okay it's going to be princess mendoza onyo congratulations you just won the 40 piece chow churu all right so congratulations i i will be uh posting uh uh, on uh, where did you join Instagram yata. so I'll be uh, messaging you on Instagram on how to claim your prize all right all right so that's it thank you all so much for joining I'm so happy that uh, we have a shorter live stream today even though we finish at 5 10 but at least it's a bit earlier than the previous live stream so um, there I will be um, I will be messaging the winners um, how to claim your prize and then uh, you'll be able to get your prize uh, through Grab or uh, LBC delivery if it's provincial. I just hope that you're in the Philippines so that you're eligible to join. All right, so thank you all for watching. Again, uh, please uh, stay safe. And at the same time also, please make sure you play with your cats. Um, if your cats bit you, please uh, take care of yourself and uh, wash the wounds, etc. And hopefully you are safe also uh, during this season. Um, hopefully... You have been vaccinated <laughs> hopefully also that uh, you are also safe and that your cats are also all very healthy um, if you want to get a cat again sir nicolai is offering a lot of uh, very you know beautiful uh, you know british and uh, scottish uh, kittens so um yeah and then there's the discount so you can get a five thousand pesos additional discount as well all right so thank you all for watching i'll see you next time uh, August 20, uh, 27, <laughs> uh, last Sunday of August, I'll see you. Okay, thank you and bye-bye.